degrees. Let's get 62. I don't know how many more loads I'm gonna get. I think I'm only gonna have time for one more. I really don't think I'm gonna pull off the second one, the third one that I wanna do. There's somebody, hi. Long time no see. doing a live on Adriana's suggestion. Hi! Hello! Hi! LBC, what's up? Hi! Hello! From North Dakota. Nice! Hello! Hi, hi, hi. Let's get some people out here and then I'll show you my new tag. I got it there got my tack in this car here because it got delivered to my workplace. So I threw the box in here and then I had to do a trip. So I opened the box up. $3.89. Hello. Hi. I got a lot of stories. I'm just not sure how many I'm going to tell just yet. I'm having a good day. I have been, hmm, I've been good. I'll go with good been good. <laughs> I'm sure it instills you with tons of confidence. Let's just say adventurous. Oh. Alberta friend. Well, hello. Pump four gang. <laughs> yeah, but I'm at, I'm at pump two this time. I don't normally do lives from here. It's my secret space that I can talk to my friends on the phone I'm not obligated to do lives. Haha. <laughs> Terrible, I know. Got the music going today. Usually my music's on my phone. Can't play it. How's life on the road? I'm telling you there's so many freaking tourists up here, it's unreal. Tell it like it is. I will. They're all interested in coming up here. Hey, Jesse. Um, seeing all this stuff up here, and it's like a freaking super highway. It's like, it's an industrial road, look out! So there's a guy pulling a cart, and uh, my buddy said he saw a unicycle. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, people. It's like a bicycles walking, motorcycles, campers. Yeah, I haven't ever stopped working up here. Just long enough to kind of let, like, the road settle down for a minute. It's still really bumpy and bad, but working on it. My day has been good. I've been having fun. How about you? There, it smoothed out a little bit. I'm waiting for Adriana. I don't know if she's on here or not. There you are. Yes. There you are. I was waiting for you, Adriana. Before I do my uh, fashion show because apparently I'm weird. All right, I'll turn you guys around. You can look at this stupid, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> so this is my new horse tack. <laughs> it's really pretty. And I'm kind of trying to, it got scrunched in the box. So I'm like trying to like straighten it out, but it's so pretty like that. And then I got the matching breast collar which I'm going to make a five-point harness with it, or three-point, I guess, right? <laughs> I'm not very good at being a horse, but it's really pretty, and it matches, and it's blingy, and actually, Mandy did awesome on it. It's Mandy's tack or leather or something like that, and, uh, oof. Okay, you are through the hoop somehow. <laughs> Clearly, I put it on before I put the headphones on. All right, I gotta undo myself here. There we go. Oh, so that is for seven, my gypsy banner, my big one. And I think I'm gonna have to ask her if she can make a matching wither strap because they're so short shouldered that this is gonna like hang. So I'm gonna have to like hold it up on her. Yeah, I haven't seen you guys in a while either. And so that's just one. I got the other one too, but it's still really pretty, but it's like so, the story with them is that when you have a young horse 
and you and like she has she has all her bridles are like one ears so it just goes around one ear but there's like no throat latch it goes under the chin and so when they just go like this or something the whole thing falls off their head so when you're doing the young horse in order to have a throat latch you need like a full brow band to go around like that you can't just be one ear which I, I beg to differ I think it could be but um so I was I said none of none of hers have them but I absolutely love those um tax sets can you make me a brow band she's like yeah I'm like can you make them special <laughs> like, what do you mean she's like well a v brow a v brow band for one horse and the double v for the other horse and she's like what is a double v i'm like yeah i've never seen it on western tech either i randomly ran across it so the double v means it's got the two v's in the front like that and so this is a one-of-a-kind bridle here because there is no western double v brow band bridles around because I created it <laughs> and then I got the regular V for Alaska this is for Alaska <laughs> well that kind of goes down pretty far but it's got the, it's a real pretty like black and white blingy awesomeness and she had to like tie in the, the these that's see that's big I think that's gonna fit her head because that is a lot of space and she's really big and I don't think seven's that big yeah, it's really pretty. So then she tied it in with all these pretty colorful jewels on them because this would be like what the one ear would look like up here, but it's replaced now. And then the the matching breast collar for that. I guess I drive around with tack in my truck because it's awesome. All right, here's this one. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, super pretty. And I thought it was on black leather, but apparently it's on brown leather. Oh good, I'm glad you're a fan. So this is super gonna super gonna look pretty on Alaska. So oof. So that's my big thing I've been doing this entire trip is staring at this blingy tack. I even stopped my buddy on the road. I'm like, hey, you gotta check this out. <laughs> I'm like, I know you get so excited over tack. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, don't show my girlfriend. She'll want him too. Then he leaves and then he texts me. He's like, those are actually really, really pretty. Uh yeah. So that's what's going on in Lisa World. I think that's as far as I'm going to go with Lisa World stuff right now. I'll, I'll give you more news later. But uh, yeah, that's why I'm up here driving. So the only thing I spend money on is my freaking horses. So um, that's why I work, just for the horses. <laughs> Davis is like, um, you have too much money. I'm like, no, I don't. I have horses. I have no money. <laughs> uh, I might make some money, but boy, does it go out the window really fast. Yeah, the thing, though, is you got to spend the money because, okay, I'll face it. Run. Got to spend the money because um, when you get a bunch of new horses, you need all new tack. You need saddles that'll fit them. Yeah, you can't just like go around with horses with no tack on. That doesn't make no sense. So yeah. Let's jam out, huh? Ooh, that's pretty. Ah, uh, yeah, holy potholes. That's right. I don't know if the horses will love it, but I'll sure love it on them. <laughs> All my friends would be like, "Do I have to wear that blingy stuff on your horse?" Yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, so I can tell you, um, I need to let me pick up to tow the trailer. <laughs> New Zealand, right on. Um, so there's another mounted shooting clinic where we shoot the guns off the horses, like I did that live that one time. Um, but it's in Fairbanks this time instead of at home. And um, so I'm going to get my horse brought up. So that's why I'm trying to fit one more trip in because it's on July 1st and it takes me a good two days, but in the summer, sometimes it takes me three. I kind of got a last, late start and where there's at least th three to four different construction zones that they stop you in. And then there's one that closes the bridge entirely from uh, nine at night to nine in the morning, which is terrible because that means I have to leave Fairbanks by noon at the latest to get there because it's at Coldfoot. So that <laughs> makes it a pain in the butt, but yeah, it, this is this is on this is the smooth part of the road. I'm telling you right now, this road is horrendous. And you add construction zones. Oh, Brittany made it right on. I missed it. Hey, Britt. 
long time no see. But, so I'm gonna go, my horse is gonna be, get brought up. So on the first, I'll go mounted shooting and then maybe um, go for a ride a couple other days and I think I'm gonna head home. Temperature is, well, it's 59 here, but shoot, it's been 70s and 80s. Uh, yeah, the horses always spook of the fireworks. She didn't, I only got, been shooting off my one horse, Ember, but uh, she didn't like it much. She wouldn't wear the earplugs. They don't like earplug stuff down their ears, but you have to have your horses wear earplugs so they don't hurt their, hurt their hearing if you're going to be shooting off them all the time. And she, I, I got one to stay in and she kept shaking the other one out and I'm like, fine, we're doing the one ear joke then. So I, I would shoot off her and she was finally like, I'm so done with you shooting me off me. So I'm like, all right, I'll park the horse. So I was able to borrow the trainer's horse that's really, or the, my friend's horse <laughs> that is doing the mounted shooting clinic. So we'll bring her up again and see if we can get, uh, get her to wear her earplugs again. <laughs> she was like, don't touch my ears at all. She's like, uh, Jax is her horse's name. It took him like three years to get used to the earplugs where he doesn't shake them out all the time. They look so funny with these little furry balls hanging off the side of their, yeah, horse earplugs. They, they use earplugs when they're racing them on the track too, I guess. And I guess if you pull them out, like the horses go faster. I don't know why. So it's kind of funny. So they're like cruising down the racetrack and then they go pop and they pop them out and the horses speed up. New Zealand, hi, good to see ya. I am getting a ton of in -reach messages. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but speed limit it's same it's 50 <coughs> excuse me it's still 50 year round i go faster in the winter than in the summer it's smoother it's i have been going and adriana can attest to this because <laughs> um when you send an in reach it tells like your speed and where you're at and all this stuff and she's like oh 10 miles an hour that must suck <laughs> i'm like I have been going for three days. <laughs> I want to be back. So yeah, because I don't want to break stuff on my truck, which I'm mean, doing okay so far. I'm only cracking the frame. Jeez. You made it. Hi, Mikey. Oh, you missed the, you missed the show though. You have to go back and watch because I think I'm going to run out of service soon. It's a short area. Not as short as Chandler, but... Ooh, I know. I never see a posted speed limit either, but we just know what it is. It's 50. It says it at the beginning of the Dalton. It goes 50 miles an hour for the next 414 miles. So I guess you're just supposed to remember that. I never see any speed limit signs either except that one. Hello. Fifty. It is. It's fifty, and I can never even get going fifty. It's stupid. It is such slow going. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the sunny side up. It's kind of hard to flip it upside down when you're going ten miles an hour. My buddy Evan, he's like, you know, your tires would wear out faster if you went faster than six miles an hour. I'm like, well, I'm gonna make these last ten 